A manatee is back in the water in southwest Florida, but another one in distress in that same channel. Only Wink News anchor Channing Frampton was on hand for the release and rescue operation that's happening right now. It's an exciting day for these animal lovers in southwest Florida as they return Saber, the manatee, back to the wild after he was rescued from red tide off of Sanibel Island last month. He had paralysis and seizures. All thanks to Red Tide. Denise Boyd is a research associate with the Fish and Wildlife Commission. A red tide is naturally occurring, but off and on it does bloom in high concentrations, which does affect marine mammals such as manatees. After some time in Miami getting better, the 700 pound saber was released back into the wild. And there's a good reason they released the manatees here. The power plant behind me discharges warmer water into this channel. That's why the manatees congregate here because the water is warmer during the cooler winter months. Despite Saber's safe return, there's a new problem here. And there's a manatee that appears to be in distress. She's talking about this one that keeps floating around on the surface, something very concerning to the crowd gathered here, including Eileen Foote. It's hard to believe they're still, they're still existing. And, um, Hopefully we can do a good job of taking care of them. A mission Boyd and her team will continue day after day. Uh, they're a huge part of our entire ecosystems. In Lee County, Channing Frampton, Wink News Now.